All right, everybody, welcome to another Jam Gaming episode. Uh, this episode, we're going to show you how to put connect your PS3 controller to your PC without using Motion Joy. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to plug in a PS3 controller. Then, after you plug it in and you get all of the settings installed, you will need to go to this address then you simply download this zip file now go download it because I have it already um, download the zip file and here it is you open it then what you need uh, whether your PC is a 64 bit or a 32 bit you're going to need one of these files so my PC is a 64 bit so I'm going to drag this to the desktop I'm going to drag this to the desktop as well. Alright, so once you have these two files, what you need to do is open this PS3 64 bit, then you drag this to the desktop. Now, once you have this on your desktop, you're going to want to install this, which is where you go to control panel, then you go to view devices and printers. Now, you're going to look for this um, which is a PS3 controller so wherever it is it might be an unspecified or it might be up here so you look for it right click on it properties then you go to hardware then you click on PS3 controller then properties again then you change settings after you change settings then you click on drivers then you update driver then you're going to click on browse your computer for software once you click on that you're going to click on browse right here so then you search for where the folder is um, I think it's supposed to be on your desktop so you just simply navigate desktop and then you're going to see it click on it click OK then you click next and uh, me already installed it so me good so you're going to wait till it install once you install it close close cancel then once you close it close this as well control panel then we basically finish with this you can send that to the bin now we're ready for this one all right so once you open this all you need to do is just run all of these applications double click on them run it yes ensure that everything is up to date uh, my one up to date already so I'm good so just double click on each of these three applications and ensure that is up to date all right so once these files are updated next thing you want to do is just open this folder Xbox 360 controller device and then find which operating system you're on uh, whether Windows 7 Windows Vista Windows XP 32 bit or 64 bit mine is a 64 bit so I'm going to open it and then we're going to run this application as well um, this is supposed to install the drivers click on run yes um, my one is already up to date so ensure that your one is installed and up to date alright so once you install this and it's up to date uh, you need to go back out here then we need this zip folder just drag it to the desktop you can close this then you don't need this anymore then open this one drag this to the desktop close this again All right, so this is the, 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 the real important part guys ensure that you right click on it um, send to compress zip folder ok then you send this to the desk um, to the recycle bin open this one and then drag this one back to the desktop alright so now we have this folder right here alright so once you finish once you're here all you need to do is open file manager go to local disk program files and then uh, create a folder called scarlet dot 
Crash Productions. Remember now, Scarlet that Crash Productions. Then you open this folder, the SCP server. Copy the bin. Once you create it, the the Scarlet that Crash Production in the program files. Open it, and then you copy the bin. The bin folder. You don't need the source folder. This so you can uh, delete this. Delete the source folder. Then you copy the bin to the desktop. So I already have it, so I'm not going to replace. Uh, now, once you have this, open, and then all you need to open is the SCP driver. Ensure that you run it as administrator. Click yes. Uh, then if you have a Bluetooth driver, you can have this click, but otherwise all these settings should be there. Then you click on install and there it is install install successfully. Then you just simply exit. So once it once it's finished install uh, just go to control panel hardware and sound view devices and printers and then it should be here click on controller settings properties just to show you guys that it's working there it is alright so there you go guys remember like comment subscribe and if you have any questions if you have any problem just please leave a comment down in the sec comment section and i'll try to respond to it so thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video